What's up, everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Riley Halbert and Natalie Champagne. Welcome to Tricky Jam. We are going to be playing a game on PTCGO today, and today we are playing with Igor Costa's Buzz Rock list. So, what do you guys think of this list? It's pretty It's neat. pretty cool, honestly. It's a really interesting idea. It's got a lot of really strategic elements with planning out your prizes with the baby buzz holes. Right. And I think it's really cool and really strong going forward. For sure. Right. I think if anybody saw Igor's stream games, they could see how well he played it. Oh my yeah. gosh. Like how he set up his KOs. Very strategic smart. deck right there. Very strategic deck. So this list plays like three baby buzzwall, only two buzzwall two GX, buzz two <laughs> big boy buzzwalls. <laughs> And that's pretty cool. It only plays a 1-1 one, one like a rock line. Yeah, one, one, Speak of right. like a rock. Here's a rock rough right here. We were building this deck, and I was like, who's that Pokemon that we need to get that evolves into like a rock? Is it it's Rowlet? like, is it Rowlet? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I knew it wasn't Rowlet. I was just joking, rock rough. Mm -hmm. I encourage the coward. He looks pretty upset by he that. He does look honestly. pretty upset. I always think you this reminds me of you hurt his feelings. Courage the cowardly dog is what he looks like. <laughs> All right, so. I think this is a pretty, pretty wild list. This, uh, this Ultra Necrozma, the Dragon one, actually ended up getting top eight of Wisconsin yeah, it as well. Yeah, the best out of all the Necrozma variants. Exactly. Or, uh, variants. So super cool. Uh, the list played letter and stuff, so it was pretty, uh, pretty close. Zach piloted it. Uh, I think they're from Michigan, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah. So Zach, Team Taste, Michigan, all those guys. Shout out to you guys, uh, and shout out to Zach for getting an awesome finish with a cool list. I know they were playing Professor's Letters, things like that, pretty similar to. The list that I had built for this deck originally on this channel, so that was cool to see. Uh, I ended up playing the psychic version of the deck myself, but uh, I think that the list definitely needs some changing and some uh, taking a look at going forward. <laughs> so, what do you guys do with this opening hand here? I think I go Cynthia, obviously. I think you and then I think you're probably ideal Floodstone turn Cynthia? is to Cynthia into a baby buzzle and hit and him. just hit into him. Right. And that's the crazy thing about this deck is that you just really go ham with baby bu baby buzzles like early, and yeah. that is wild to me because I was thinking that like the little buzzwall really only good for that end. Oh, yeah. There he is. There he is. Yep. Exactly and I could even go super greed. I think you. Hold I think that. I do it. A super greed for what, Diancie? Oh yeah, that oh. would be a pretty good. Turn. Let's get in there. Let's get in there. Like that damage. We play that damage is relevant. We play prize. if it's prized, you get Remoraid. Yeah, yeah, we play a ton of energy in this deck. There is fifteen energy in this yeah, deck. Yeah, ten right. basics, four so, strong, and a beast. That's crazy. Uh, this is just how aggressive this deck is here. We are starting Smack. off with a turn one sledgehammer for seventy damage. That's a lot of pressure. And what's cool about this is like. This deck is very similar to the old Buzzrock list, but now you're hitting, instead of hitting with Jet Punch, in this situation it would do the same damage. You're you're lacking the 30 on the bench in exchange for a one prize attacker. Exactly. Which that's a trade off I would it make. It feels any really day. bad knocking out a one prize that's doing a lot of damage to you. It right. Does. I gotta take one, care of that. One energy, all, with all these fighting modifiers doing that much damage, it kind of, it's similar to how Lucha we were talking about back in the day. Yeah, for sure. Like Lucha fighting, uh, Except Baby Buzzle can hit anything. And has 130 hit points. Right. And, uh, he's very tanky. So this, it Zara does. Feel a lot. Even. This feels a lot like starting out with Halucha, and you have safety in that board position. You really only put Buzzwool down when he's ready to either be Beast Ring to, or he's ready to be Max Elixir to, and that's what you kind of saw Igor doing and being able to play strategically, leaving things like Rock Rough on the board, Octillery on the bo right. board, Baby Buzzwool's on the board, building up a favorable board position, and then kind of just like smashing in with Buzzwool to end the game. Uh, and, you know, kind of like flames and all that, you know, sputtering out of the deck at the end of the game there. This is a, a great start for my opponent, though. Really good. <laughs> I have to say. Really good, yeah. <laughs> uh, they're drawing some fire over there. So this is not how my psychic deck worked at all uh, <laughs> when I was playing it. No, and uh, I have to imagine that our lists are looking pretty similar. You know, they got a turn one Bridget, turn two, and uh, they've got three, five energy on board turn two. Pretty good. I don't think that I ever did that. At Madison, mm, yeah, uh, I had a lot of trouble finding my energy at Madison, so I that a lot was of, uh, sycamore. Oh yeah, yeah. No sycamore. Energy. Oh, right, no go. energy. Yep, you go. I mean, when Malamar yep. runs, it really does oh, it run does, well. But sure. uh, so oh my god, it's been concerning. At least this weekend, the results are very exactly. concerning for Malamar. Exactly. So, whew. I think you're right. so probably just sycamore. I think you sycamore. Yeah. We also play super odd, so like energy. Do is play recoverable. super odd. Uh, yeah. Yep, this is tough. All right. I think you stick more trying to hit a max elixir on that rock rough and like hit a baby buzz will hit into it and then try yeah. to hit a try to hit a max elixir on the bench rock. Ruff. What if I attach to the rack rough, try to hit a max elixir onto a baby buzz will or something? I don't. Know. I think you stick more. 
Hmm. I think you're more likely. All to right. Just... Sure. Yeah, yeah. I Let's uh, see what we got here. Woo, Ooh, baby buddy. Buzzwell. All right. That's so all we you got to be Buzzwell. But it still feels kind of bad. Yeah, you don't got really much else going on over there. I mean, I feel no. like you have to go you in. You have to though. definitely smack with him. You have to smack you can't with him. You can't go in with the Buzzwell, right? Yeah. So we have to go here. And we probably go strong, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that yeah. feels fine. All right. 50. It's. Yep, here we go. Sledgehammer again. And, uh, yep, that's all we got. So we're hoping for the best. <laughs> this is not good. I think that a well-constructed Malamar list should just run over Buzzwool in like, theory. every time, in theory. in theory. This is, like, really, really bad. You can see how far we are on the back foot uh, just trying to get our grip on this game. And we got nothing, really. And this is just uh, baby Buzzwool's not doing anything to these guys, they're just mowing through the deck. Got this Ultra Necrozma just looming back here. Top deck beast ring. Can easily knock out anything in my deck. I, I, feel I like... think the best top deck is honestly like a Cynthia here. Uh-huh, a Cynthia, yeah. for yeah, sure. Okay, that's uh, not great. Um, I feel like we can't even go is in pretty with... pretty bad right now. We need to go like here and hope he doesn't have Guzma, right? Probably. Probably, yeah. I mean, like, unfortunately... That we can't jet punch. Oof. No, no, you cannot jet punch. I cannot no. jet punch. No, you'll yep. just lose. So I feel like, do I bring up something with the like a rock? Yeah, I think I do. Try to just, but no, no that they doesn't. They can invasion. They can invasion no matter what. So yeah, let's just do this and. Uh, Masaroni. Here you go, my guy. All right. So, whoo. Yeah, no, this is uh, this is bad. This is just looking, and this is like what was happening to me with Buzzwool. We were test. This is what we were testing with with Malmar. This is how we were setting up and testing, and then we. Uh, this is how we were setting up and yeah, testing. Yeah, we like, this deck. This deck's great. Like, we yeah, actually, <laughs> we actually did our Patreon uh, exclusive video this this past month for the month of May. They didn't have Guzma. Oh, thank oh, goodness! Six. I thought for sure they would. Too, I thought for sure they would. Yeah. So the Patreon exclusive video that we did this week, which was for the War uh, the War Total yeah, Patreon exactly. tier uh, so members, we GX that. was the. Uh, we actually did Malamar versus Buzzwell. We Natalie and I did like a best of five, and Malamar just destroyed Buzzwell every time. Right. But in practice, actually, okay, oh, this is like hit. really good. Okay, okay this yeah. is like exactly what we wanted. So, yeah, you so we're gonna up. bring up the the Ultra Necrozma. Sure. Yeah, uh huh, that thing, and then we're gonna attach the energy in it. You do, babe. You All do right. put down the Buzzwell. No, no, oh. no. Oh well, he's gone now. All right, so oh, good. We got we're fine. We're totally fine. <laughs> I think. Yep, we probably should have put down the buzzwell, but I mean, like, you could theoretically try and hold it this turn and be like really greedy. Mm, right. I think, I think we just get a river raid, and we're fine, right? Uh, yeah. Yep. I mean, yeah. there's not really anything else going on. We don't on. have a B string to use on it, so it's not worth putting it down. Exactly. Ideally, they like hit into this lichen rock for not enough. Right. Right. Hopefully and we then we have a B string turn. Oh next yeah. Turn. I was gonna say, exactly. Next turn. Exactly. So. There we go with that. But yeah, so Natalie Ooh. and I were testing. Oh, yeah, they don't bump the stadium. Good cards. Natalie and I were testing this deck, uh, this matchup over and over and over again. And we went like four and one in the video. And it was four wins for Malamar, one win for Buzzwell. It was just looking super rough. The Buzzwell decks at Madison were running much better generally. And the There's Malamar decks, the, the three baby Buzzwell version, uh, the Malamar decks were just not running very well in Madison oh, at gosh. all. Which, oh. That's like a game winning. I wonder if this is like string. Zach's list right here. Just uh, the B string was super good there. And the cool thing about that is that the B string just, I think in the Ultra Necrozma version, is just much better than in the regular Necrozma version. Yeah, because the metals. Because it finds the metals. So, like, that actually makes a lot of sense. Oh, that's really Yikes. concerning. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, this looks like a wrap, guys. I uh, mean, what, so our game plan is going to, or no, they, he skips over B strings. So. Uh huh, entirely. Yeah, yeah. This is looking ugly. That's about as ugly yeah, as it gets. Yeah, we, we, <laughs> we need like an arc to live that turn. Uh oh yeah. Um so took out yeah. the Brooklyn Hills. Stop, he's Woo! already dead. Uh, stop. <laughs> oh my oh, goodness. No. So that's uh pretty much a wrap, guys. This ultra necrozma list is looking super dominating here. I don't even know. All right, we're gonna You have to get two max looks. We're gonna try. We're get, <laughs> first of all, we don't we're need try. We don't need that, and we probably don't need that. Actually, uh, and we probably get rid of because we got an octillery for a lot. Yeah. And so we need Guzman to like there's, knock out that thing. There's like nothing we could do. There's nothing we could do, but we're gonna try. Yeah. Um. Uh, I so think. So you get rid of a. One choice band. And sycamore? the sycamore. Yeah. You have to Guzma this turn. Yes. Which we got the Lele for Guzma. So like that's fine. All right. And then, 
I need to do that. Uh huh. I actually can knock that thing out with a lele. Can I? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's get a. We also need him to whiff a float stone. <laughs> right. We need to rip this max elixir first. First. All right. So we're gonna go get a Guzma. Yeah. And then, so if we did two, four, six, eight, ten plus the choice band. Oh, we could do it. All right. Let's uh, let's see if we can do this. Oh yeah. So I you're saying so much energy. We're gonna uh -huh. take. It's gonna take some prizes this game at least. Uh, don't so put gonna... down the. No, yeah, don't. It's uh, probably an abyssal right now. Yeah, let's just abyssal. See if maybe we can hit something better than this. <laughs> nope. Nope. Uh, nope. That's a no. Yep. Okay. Yep. <laughs> so we're going, <laughs> we're going in here. We're going to take this. this... Our opponent has like infinity outs to win. Oh, <laughs> infinite <laughs> outs to win. Four prizes, guys. After how bad that game was for yeah, us. Yeah, we started really bad. And actually, I think part of the reason they switched to the multiple baby buzzle version is for the Malamar matchup. Right. This shows how powerful the deck is, though. I mean, we took four prizes in the. Doing almost oh, we nothing. We prized two B strings as oh, well. It's like we yeah. weren't hitting them. We no, going to. right, no. Yeah, it looks like all he really needs is just. He needs a, either a float stone or a Guzma. Uh, yeah, uh, oh, there we go. Yeah, so good game to my opponent there. And this looks like it probably was very close to Zach's top eight list. Right. If I had to guess, it seems very close. It other. seems. Actually, Zach didn't play Max Lixer. Didn't play Max Lixer. Okay, this did. played Max Lixer and it played B string. Wow. It's a lot of stuff. For and sure. was still consistent. Well, at least it was consistent this game. I'm mean, gonna have to watch him play for like ten games to really see. Right, but yeah, that was really uh, popped sure. off. Did what he needed to do this game. The deck ran like a dream that game. So it's shout out it. to my opponent. Uh, that was wild. Yep, and we got whopped. So that was uh that was fun though. We could, we could give it one more try. Yeah, yeah, sure. say, yeah, yeah. Let's roll. Let's roll. Let's run it. Run it. Run it back one more Maybe time. Maybe something not Malamar. We're gonna see if we get something not Malamar. And this is why I wouldn't touch Buzzwell, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, I wouldn't touch Buzzwell. Heading into Madison, but you know a lot of the, a lot of the Buzzwell decks did really well it's against. Like on, yeah. uh, oh goodness, yeah. So <laughs> uh, a lot of the Buzzwell decks did really good against Malamar decks this past weekend. I personally think that Malamar has a favorable matchup against Buzzwell, but that the Malamar decks just have not been perfected yet. I think that there's still some you know tweaking to do with the list, and then eventually the matchup should right, be positive. Start EV? Nothing. Oh, we got nothing. Are you going to start EV with no energy? And we're just going <laughs> to knock it out. Oh, yeah. I did play against a Sylveon at Madison Regional Championships. I did. You were playing Malamar. And I was playing Malamar, and that was great. <laughs> and we did learn that uh, Mewtwo GX's uh, Psy Strike goes through Hoopa. So that was great. Yep. <laughs> so, yes, it's not effect by Yes, it ignores all effects on the opponent's active Pokemon. Another Rock Rough start here. Right. If they don't have the EV, I think we start the Diancie if though. If they have the EV, no energy. Because we've got go the Floatstone, and then we'll Smith. start these. I don't and... even know if you'd put Rock Rough on your bench personally, but. Well, there he is. So. All right. Oh, because we are <laughs> playing. We're playing against. Uh, that's right. We're playing against Sylveon. So. Right. Right. We <laughs> got two Mulligans. There's no way they don't have an energy. Yep, I kind of forgot what we were playing against. <laughs> <coughs> to be fair. Yeah, no, I spaced out. So here we go. We got a Rainbow Rare Sylveon in the That's active. Check cool. that thing out. That is super cute. Very nice. Oh, and Nest Ball. Why not another one? That's that's oh, just shucks. great. There uh, one -one goodness. Oh, not that. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Actually, I'm fine with that. Yes, let's get us a support. Oh, right. That's Ooh. probably a little bit better. Uh -huh. yeah. I wouldn't put the baby buzzle down. No, it seems bad. Let's take more. Yeah. All right, yeah, here we go. Glad we're all on the same page here. Ooh, sick more. Get me some doing? stuff. We're trying to get as many basic energies onto one Buzzle GX as possible. As possible, okay. right. So I think we just start here on the bench, and we're just going to... Oh, we get a Lele eventually? I would not right now, just in case right. they have more hand disruption. There we go. I was going to say, I guess we don't really even need to do a bunch of thinning here. All right, so uh, yeah, we're good. Uh, yeah, yeah. Don't put anything else down. Yeah, definitely don't put him in the active position because then he could be flare grunted, which this deck runs a bunch of. So I'm not exactly sure about the red card in the Sylveon deck. I think that that's a little counterintuitive. I just feel like four it's... cards right now is like in the current metagame, we play so many supporters and stuff that like. It you worries me that they would, they would cut something like Dumbbells for that, which is like, Dumbbells is like really Dumbbells good. Dumbbells is really, Dumbbells the is really good, so yeah. we'll see probably. I mean, you'll, you'll absorption this, and then they're going to put the Dumbbells on if they have it. Right. The Dumbbells actually did nothing in the games that I played against the Sylveon playing Malamar because uh, you knock out Sylveon with four energy uh, without Dumbbells, and you knock out Malamar with four energy with Dumbbells. Oh, guys, check this out. Please. Oh, please. I brought this drawing over here. Natalie, I did that. I colored that. Natalie colored this for me at the Madison Regional Championships. <laughs> it's that great, was, isn't it? That was really nice. I like the Voltorb. You know what's not nice? Getting plead. All right. It's fine. So, I just attach a basic and pass. 
Uh, that's fine. But then my Diancies doesn't get knocked out nope. by Fairy Wind. So this is what we're doing. If yeah. Hill Magical Ribbon, you can Lele for an end. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna do that. And yeah, if my opponent Magical Ribbons, that's fine. It actually gets my Rock Rough, you know, out, off the board, off yeah. the board, which is actually preferable. My ideal board is Diancy with a single Buzzwall, just doing a ton of damage. Exactly. Actually, you can even you can even rip through buzz, uh, dumbbells in some circumstances. If you have now, Beast I Energy, you can hit 240. 240. Whoa, I that's mean, it's probably crazy. Unlikely it's still beyond, You're gonna assume that no special energy stays for more than a turn. Right. Right. But um, you can but like the turn you with just one Beast Energy. Choice band, Diancy, you are hitting 240 damage to knock out a clean Sylveon with dumbbells. Right. Oh, and you play Regirac in this too. Right. You do play Regirac as well, so I guess strong. Strong and. Uh, strong and uh, choice band, Diancy. So as we're well. just going to go in with the end here. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, I played against Sylveon for the first time in Charlotte. Ooh, one Oscar, end. All right. And uh, I forgot about dumbbells being a card. Uh, despite yeah. it being like a league promo, and I like absorption the first one, and then he you know hits the dumbbells on the second one. I was like, oh, yeah. Let's see if we can hit ourselves <laughs> a max elixir here. Ooh. Oh, oh baby. That, that would be huge. Oh, baby. We can, can we knock we it out? Win this. Yeah, we can with absorption. Okay. All righty. So, yeah, let's here see go. here. Let's let her ride. All right. No. Oh, oh, no. Why? Uh, they, can't, they can't play again. It's fine. Uh, this all right. is fine. Yeah. Yeah. So, do we put this rem right down? Probably. Yeah, I yeah, like it. can't play. All right. Because no. we're just, we would like to draw some cards. That would be good. Because really, we're not sitting on a whole lot right now. And we're just going to let that Sylvia just... Uh -oh. oh, that's nice. good, good, good. And what's really unfortunate about this matchup is that we are never going to get... Um, we're never going to get to B-String. No. no, no, Ever. No. Yeah, no, definitely so not. Unless they really cards. do something funny. Uh-huh. So... Nice. Good okay, hand. good hand, good hand. I like it's it. It's actually the kind of hand that can sustain us through this matchup, honestly. Right. Just a bunch of energies. <laughs> like a bunch uh, of energies and, and the prism and the beast energy and the strong energy. Right. Oh, we can double puzzle work. off that end. They're going for a crushing hammer. Stop. I don't know how many times I've end Sylveon. Crushing hammer red card. No, 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 no. I don't oh know. Oh my gosh. Tails. Oh, All right, there huge. it goes. Yeah, it is big. It's fine. It's fine. We do we we don't play super odd, right? We do. We do. All we do. right, we do play super odd. Here goes my hand oh, again. Down. It's fine. Oh, oh another fine. fine hand. Oh, yeah. we can also ball away that B string. Too. Yep, that's good. That is good. I think I actually am going to, depending on what I top deck, I will probably Octillery first, then Ultra Ball that's away. That's what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. Because you don't want to Ultra Ball away in energy. No, we, no, we want to keep all of those energies. Oh, yeah, never want to do that. So here goes my opponent, and I don't know about this red card business. I think like doesn't seem to be doing that much. It, well, what's the point? It's like you know you're putting cards back into my deck, and Sylveon's supposed to be a mill deck, so. right? He's just trying to stick you. I guess it He's makes sense. He's trying to stall you out for a turn, I guess. But I don't think it really helps when there's like you know like Zorark decks and there's Buzzwords I mean, I think artillery. People overestimate right. like how small of a hand size four is. It, they too. do. Right. Like uh, part of the reason I really enjoyed Red Card Expanded was because it was paired with Hex Maniac. So That's I'm gonna Abyssal first here. Because there's no way I'm yeah, falling away that. Um, oh, and I actually this. like all these. So, yeah, yeah we're keeping uh, pass. keeping all this. You only and have yep, so many crushing hammers. Exactly. Like, right. So, we pass here. And you used two puzzles already. The now. Reggie Rock is good. Right. He's burning through his resources actually <laughs> fairly quickly, you know. We can actually. Uh, oh, we play Brooklet. I was going to say, yeah. Um, so, we do have an answer to that Parallel Brooklet, City. So yeah. Exactly. We do have an answer to that Parallel City here eventually, which is going to be good. Oh, yep. This list plays a lot of Crushing Hammer. All right. You have to imagine. I think in the Buzzle meta, you have to play more have Crushing play. Hammers than Oh, Delinquent. Oh, that's, that's fine. fine. I know what to get rid of. This, and this. One basic, I mean, or... Yeah. I don't think you're. I don't know. Reggie Rock Math is good, but I got Super Rod. I got oh, super you, rod. you yeah. play Super Rod. That's yep, fine. That's fine. Yeah, so. it's actually a good set of discards, honestly, all things considered. What is this? Mm. Oh, your tool cards have no effect. Oh, that's a good one. That's cute. <laughs> Yikes. That is cute. That's Boy. Cute. We, have we do have, like, plenty of stadium bumps, We though. do. We do. That is that is cute. Okay, so they could stick me with that for a turn. Fortunately, we do got Octodad here, so he's going to be able to, yeah, the Octofiler is going to be able to draw us some cards here. With that abysmal hand ability. <laughs> with the abyssal hand. Abysmal hand. Abysmal hand. Do you think anybody's ever hugged? I've hugged. You have hugged? I have, multiple with, times. With what deck? It's actually kind of interesting. Oh, we've got hugged. a Guzma. I, right. I would just use it. Use it, and then the strong, will that get us there? You don't need it, just absorption. Oh, yeah, you're right. So basic. Yep. Yeah. Guzma. Here we go. Bring them out, bring them Octillery. out. Octillery for four. Big ones. Count them. We've got four. 
Oh, oh buddy. Nice. Yeah, we don't need to put that down yet, though. No, no, no. Yeah, you hold that. We need. I think we, we save it. Yep. Um, so let's just uh, shush portion. Yeah. There we go. All right, that's good. So and then what, if my opponent. 190, 210, 210. And we just did 260, but that's with absorption. All right. Yeah. Um, no, I'm thinking of Knuckle Impact. Okay. Knuckle Impact is doing. Well, One, it's doing 180. 180 right now. right now. So the beast energy gets us over the edge. I mean, you can also I can pop the stadium. Pop the stadium. Right? Get up a little he, further. See if he has. I mean, he would have gotten the dumbbells at I some think point if they're savvy no okay mm. so we so, have two, one floatstone left we're good two. i think we go for it we have two floatstones left so yeah we just need to hit uh, where's yeah. one of our floatstones oh on the dancy yeah yeah so we just need to stick more away and see what happens i'll put the right. beast energy down let's check that deck real quick see how many floatstones are in the deck two, two. yeah so All i think right. we just i think the odds are pretty good here we roll grab for one. it do we grab a card to get out I of the would, deck yeah, I yeah, guess. Yeah, probably uh, oh, probably the... Or get a rock rough as one retreat. That's what I think, yep. I'm going to get the rock rough get out. The energy on the buzzle. Exactly, yep. Here, we're just housing. All right, yes. and uh, let it ride. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Good Floatstone for game. Oh, we got yes. there. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. So <laughs> we get to end things. Big boy. We took there down Sylveon. Huge knuckle Big. impact. Jet punch. Oh, no, <laughs> jet punch. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, 240 damage. We would have gotten through uh, the dumbbells, dumbbells yeah. anyway. We had so. all the pieces we needed to get through dumbbells. Pretty cool. Got there that game. It was nice to actually <laughs> win one. Shout out to Igor Costa. Very cool list. I know a lot of very good players were playing. Very similar list to this at the Madison Regional Championships. Let's show off the deck list here real quick. So... Uh, I think we actually forgot to do that in yesterday's video. So, <laughs> oops. But here's uh, Igor's Buzz Rock list. Gonna show that off. Yep. So, uh, very cool, very strategic, very uh, fancy list here. I mean, there's a lot of cool things going on. First of all, we've got the just the one one line of Lycan Rock, the one one line of Octillery, the, the real three. stars, the three baby muscles. Look how strong list. he Agreed. is. Yeah, look at those muscles. Yeah, it's just a. Mm. Yeah, bigger than mine for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Yeah, so pretty cool stuff. And the inclusion of Reggie Rock. Yeah, we were, when he dropped yeah. that against Will. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah, gosh. Will. Igor ended the finals with a swing swing around. Around. ridiculous swing around Where for 210 damage. He didn't even damage. Flip. He didn't 210 flip. without flips. He could have done Just think about that for a second. That wow. was two strongs and a beast energy on, on that a non-ex. That is so wild. Uh, and this Reggie Rock really allows you to do some cute math stuff with Diancy in combo. So like that's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. And uh, let's show off that Alolan Executor deck that we did yesterday too. Just while I'm Egg here, Eggman. in case you did not get to check the Eggman. Here's the Eggman. This list finished in what top 64 or something like it that. It was top 64 in the end. So not, this list, Zach, Zach Zamora. Yeah. Top 64 with the Alolan Eggman deck. Super cool list. Alolan Very Eggman. original <laughs> and very fun to play. If you caught yesterday's video, video, video. <laughs> that was very fun. So, anyways, thank you all for watching the video. Make sure to like the video, sub to the channel, check us out on Twitter. I'll leave the handles in the description below. Peace.